bringing back hundreds of billions of dollars into the United States, and we understand that, and they understand that some of the things that have been approved and are currently under construction and will be delivered to Saudi Arabia very soon, and that's for their protection. But if you look in terms of dollars, $3 billion, $533 million, $525 million, that's peanuts for you. <laughs> That was President Trump during his meeting with Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in the Oval Office yesterday. Uh, the president and the Crown Prince talked about a number of important tough issues. Uh, what the president was talking about right there was arms sales that the U.S. is going to be doing uh, with Iran, uh, with, with uh, Saudi Arabia. Of course, the subject of Iran and the Iran deal uh, was one of the major topics as well. And this was the first stop on the Crown Prince's visit to the United States. Joining us right now is the former U.S. ambassador to Saudi Arabia, diplomat in residence in the John G. Tower Center for Political Studies at SMU and the author of Desert Diplomat, Robert Jordan. Ambassador, it's good to see you again. Thanks very much for joining us. Hi, Maria. The president was just going through the arms sales uh, that the U.S. is going to be undertaking with Saudi Arabia. Your take on these big acquisitions that the Saudis are making uh, in terms of U.S. arms? Well, a lot of these uh, deals have been in the works for uh, more than a couple of years, but I think it's quite significant and, uh, you know, if, if you work on a production line at Raytheon or Lockheed Martin or Boeing, uh, you're happy to have these contracts. Uh, at the same time, I think we have to be very careful how some of this equipment is used. Uh, the war in Yemen especially uh, is one uh, that has reached uh, a, a level of, of, of great criticism. Uh, and I think we've got to be very careful uh, in terms of uh, whether uh, the Saudis are truly protecting uh, civilian lives uh, in this terrible uh, catastrophe uh, uh, in Yemen. But having said that, uh, clearly if, uh, if the Saudis uh, don't uh, buy these articles from us, they're going to turn to Russia or China or others. And so in a way we're in a competition uh, to provide what, uh, what they want to purchase. Uh, we've simply got to maintain uh, a degree of control over how this is used. Robert, when we spoke on Sunday on, on Fox News, you said you are not expecting the president to renew the Iran deal. Tell us more about that. Right. Well, the president has come out pretty strongly against the deal, and so I think he's going to uh, uh, have a hard time backtracking from that. Uh, the Saudis, likewise, have been very critical of this deal. Uh, there are efforts uh, underway uh, uh, among the Europeans to try to provide a fix uh, for the deal. Uh, having to do uh, primarily with the sunset provisions, with inspection provisions, and other things. I think that's likely to not be successful. Uh, and so we're going to find uh, this agreement probably abrogated, uh, and American sanctions may be ratcheted back up. Uh, what that does in terms of Iran's conduct, uh, we'll have to wait and see. But I think the Saudis have been equally critical uh, of the agreement that was struck. Well, what, is, what are the implications of that? So this next deadline is May 12th, and uh, yeah. General Jack Keane joined me yesterday. He also said if they don't fix it or change this deal, then the president likely will not renew it. But what are the implications in terms of our relations around the world? Europeans want us to stay in, right? Uh, they want us to stay in, and, and they likely will, uh, will continue to stay in, but with America backing out, uh, I think this res uh, removes some of the incentives for the Iranians uh, to continue to observe uh, the agreement. Uh, at the same time, I suspect uh, Iran will not overtly uh, disregard the deal and uh, put in jeopardy some of the contracts they're undertaking with the Europeans. Uh, it may cause uh, the U.S., though, to be more isolated from our European allies uh, on this issue. Wow. Uh, they may continue to do business with Iran and make it yeah. more difficult for us. 